They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Chicago Bears. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They run with a fourth round pick, Roshan Johnson. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball on the 30 now, here's second and nine. Back to throw, Fields. His throw is going to be incomplete. Nice play on the football. And while it was tipped in the air, it made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground. You just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. On first and 10, here's Fields. Well, here's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second down and three. On the option right is Fields. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an OK game. And he will have the Bears first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. Second and a couple as they've got it as we resume action. Here's Fields. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He 
catches it there as he scrambles for the first down. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. Fields. Flushed out right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7 0 in favor of the Bears. After the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 33 yards that time. And this is how you answer a touchdown at the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. On first down, Garoppolo. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 43, here's a second down and six. A first carry for the all-pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That good for 19 and a first down. A nice carry by Jacobs who's coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. Garoppolo on first down. This is caught. Touchdown. Hunter Renfro, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Raiders are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, here's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Kamen. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Fields to commit there for a Chicago first. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Field's going to hurry his guys to the line. To throw again on second down. Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Kamel. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. To the air again, Fields. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Second and 10, Fields again. the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. So the big play means just like that they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Fields now to throw. First and goal is he'll be taken down at the seven yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Fields. And he's got it. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash and a bit of a tight angle, Santos' kick is up and through. So three points on the board is easy a field goal that you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's a fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go long field, 98, 99-yard drive. And not give them that opportunity.
seconds. All that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And not much there. Maybe a yard up in the 24. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. There's Garoppolo to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Counter play with Jacobs. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here to throw. It's Garoppolo. The left side throw complete to Adams. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. That one complete to Horstead. They'll get just a couple, but the sticks move again. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Back now at Soldier Field. The ball on the eight. Still could get a first down technically. Second and seven. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of just two, and they're going to face a third down. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from six yards away. And the Raiders have taken a fourth quarter lead. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it. We've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 25 yards that time. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From the 50, here's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end tonight. And he goes down, but now the full game is inside the 25. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now a first down throw, Fields. They'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Fields now on second down. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Screenplay, Johnson. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Now Field's going to keep it line left, and nothing doing. 
He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here now, second and goal. Off the draw, here's Johnson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. And Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Here's Fields. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They snap it to Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. An incompletion there on fourth and goal from the three. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Now second and five. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Down to Anigo's Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the 